once again, he was able to break down the scriptures. He used to be part of the what is now known as the Holy Tabernacles Ministry. But once you get past even religion within those aspects, dig into a lot more. He's also taught a lot on tantra sex and natural healing. So he's going to give you that and a few things more. So without further ado, yes. I'd like to introduce Brother Aline Bey. Tonight, we're going to go through some things, but before we do that, um, I want to say a prayer, more so a mantra. Um, it's, it's, to me, it's, it's a word of power, and once I do it, um, then break it down. It's coming from, from the um, Arabic term. It's a prayer that y'all, some of y'all most likely heard before. It's El Fatiha. Um, El Fatiha, if y'all don't know, is the first book in the Quran, which means the opening. But the opening of what? Is the opening of the book? No, because it was originally revealed as the fifth surah. So somebody put it as the first um, surah. So what is the opening of? Um, it's the opening of the third eye. And you can hear the sounds in it. Um, <laughs> If you hear the rhythm, and you hear at the end of each word, it ends with the Ayn principle. The Ayn principle, if you go to Hebrew and Arabic, it is this. This is the symbol. Enough. And it just happens to be the ninth um, number of the iron is the ninth letter in the Hebrew as well as the Arabic on the square. Um, at least it's best to be Alright. Um, so it's opening up the third eye, which is actually your first eye. That's right, man. Okay. So, you know, those that say that, you know, they into prayers and all of this is more so words of power. It's not the fact of praying um, to something external. It's the fact of praying to within yourself because the essence of God is within each and every one of us. All right? Um, let me start off saying, basically, is that nobody in the Bible existed, basically. Okay? Um, let me explain why. You had a man by the name of Abraham. Okay? Abraham actually was Brahma. Okay, let me explain. Alright. Abraham. But his real name or original name was Abraham. <coughs> which means father of, of, um, of nations. Okay? If you take the A and put it there from being a prefix to a suffix, you got what? Brahma. So Brahma, Abraham is the Hindu god Brahma, okay? Brahma never existed. It was based on a creative principle. In other words, something that exists within your DNA. Let me explain. Brahma is actually your aura because the symbol of Brahma is the egg. In other words, it's like a shell that covers your physical body. That is your aura, okay? So that's who Brahma is. That's who Abraham is. So he's the father of many nations. Okay, then you had his wife who was called Sarah. And her original name was Sari. Alright? Now, if you break it down, Brahma's wife name was Sarah Swati. You notice, what is that? That's Sarah. So Brahma and Sarah is the same as Abram and Sarah, but Sarah. In other words, it was all something in which the Europeans did in order to make you think that our ancestors, what these, 
was something that was personified into human form when it was never humans. It was all based on the human aspect of each and every one of us. Is that understood? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, Sarah was the patriot. The patriot. Of what is called the 64 arts. Now, where's the 64 arts? Is it karate, kung fu, um, anything like that? No, what it's talking about is you got 64 P mutations of your amino acids, or what's called adrenal blocks of life. In other words, you're doing that. Okay? Yeah, 64 ways in order to rearrange your DNA. 64 ways. Right? Now, the 64 ways is based on, I guess you can say, what is called the book of I Ching. Anybody ever heard of that book, the I Ching? <laughs> All right, if you look in this, um, the book of the I Ching, you have trigrams, which look something like this. And there's 64 of them. Okay? This is what is called. 64 um, also is symbolic to the 64 attribute of our law, which is Yajidru, okay, which means the all perceiving. Okay, for example, 0 plus 8 equals a 1 plus 8, no, excuse me, plus 7 equals a um, 2 plus 6 equals a 3 plus 5 equals a, uh, what's that, 4 plus 4 equals a, 5 plus 3, three equals a, thank you, 6 plus 2, two uh, 7 plus 1 equals a, and 8 plus 6 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right? So basically, it breaks down to eight times eight is 64. This is all talking about, okay, let me write this name. Which means the all perceiving. Okay? All perceiving. Okay, L Okay. So this means that the number 64 um, is based on one more time is is the pre mutations of your DNA. In other words, you have your amino acids have 64 different ways in order to align themselves in order to create life and planet to planet. Okay, you have basically approximately 20 um, amino acids right now. Right, the other part in which that you don't have a connection to is what is called junk DNA. Okay, scientists say that you have junk DNA. It's about, you use approximately about one third of your, of your DNA, which is two strands. The other two thirds, um, you don't have access to. Okay, now what happened is, is that, quote unquote, they claim that this junk DNA is a remnant or a leftover from your evolutionary periods. In other words, you was a dog, a frog, a cat, you became a monkey and jumped out of some tree or some shit. <laughs> okay? If you want to believe that charge of nonsense, then that's up to you. That's not how it worked and what happened. What happened is the reason why the um, DNA broke apart is because of something that happened within our solar system. We are an exact replica of our solar system. Okay? Remember, man is the microcosmic. The heavens or the zodiacs and the constellations and the stars above, galaxies, whatever, uh, heaven is what is called the microcosmic. So you are, you are a direct, you are directly in the image of the heavens. Everything that exists outside exists within you. Okay? So, that means something must have happened within our solar system in order to cause this disruption within our DNA. What happened? Well, come to find out that, that there was a planet, it's called Maldu, which existed between Jupiter and Mars, which is now our asteroid belt. This planet was approximately three to four times the size 
of um, our planet right no. now. Okay? No. Now, from that destruction created those, well, those beings, energy sources or life sources or what's called the Ethereum bodies um, came to no. planet Earth. No. Okay? And somehow it disrupted our DNA um, our DNA um, development. Okay, from that explosion that happened within our um, solar system. 